Okay, today we are playing the Rivers of Catan. So this comes with the Traders and the Barbarians expansion pack. Um, probably the second easiest um, in that kit, in that expansion. So everything else on the table you're going to recognize. There are coins. You get coins for building on the river. There are three river tiles, two twos, and one triple. There are the poorest settlers and the wealthiest settler. So there's only three of us playing. So we're gonna take out those two poorest. And then also each player gets three bridges. And we'll show you once the board is set up where the bridges go and where the roads cannot go and where you have to build to get the coins. So we will set up the gameplay area so that we can get going. Okay, so we're going to pause to show you where the rivers go. So you have your triple. So this acts as a desert. Then you have your hill and your mountain with the river. And then down here, you have another desert. And those ones there. So we'll speed up and we'll finish making our gameplay area. Okay, so just a quick explanation of the rivers. So this is a bridge and a bridge costs two brick and a wood to build. And if you can see there on the rivers, there are dotted lines. So that's where the bridges go. You cannot build roads on the dotted lines. They must be bridges. When you build a bridge, you get three coin. You get one coin for every settlement that you build on the river, as well as for every road you build on the river. So when we're placing our settlements, and because we're playing Settlers of Catan, it'll be two settlements that we place. If we place both our settlements, on the river and both roads on the rivers, we would end up starting the game with four coins. <clears throat> you cannot start the game with a bridge. These are the wealthiest settler, poor settler, poor settler. So wealthiest settlers get one bonus victory point. Poorest settlers get negative two victory points. And that's just based on who has the most coin. If people are tied for first, nobody gets this. And the coin's there and everything else is the same. So we'll go ahead and we'll roll to see who places first. Dad places first and we'll speed up play while we place our two settlements. Okay, you can see blue has placed both settlements and both roads on the river. So I will get three coin. These are just threes, we'll have to get our ones out. So I will get four coins. And you also just pick the three resources from the last settlement that you chose. So I would get nothing. Wool and wheat. And we will speed up play. These are not mine. We'll speed up play 
and we'll stop when there's something about the rivers that we need to talk about. So you'll see I added another bowl here. The purple bowl has the three coins only and our blue bowl has the single coins. Um, just with all the expansions that we play, sometimes it's easier to just play with ones. So we usually split them up and um, just easier to put them in different bowls. So first thing about the coins is twice per turn. Oh, we forgot to hand out Wealthiest Settler. Oh no, we're tied. Poor. We don't even get that. I'll take the poorest settler. But Dad can take the poorest. The zero. Now, now, I'm going to use my coins to purchase a resource from the bank. So two times per turn, you may pay two coins to buy something from the bank. So I bought a wood so that I can build a road. Now you can take a poor settler. And I get the other poorest settler. And because I now have the least amount of coins, Dad can give me the poor settler. We'll put it back over here. And he has neither tile. Okay, so I just built a settlement on the river, so I got a coin. I now have tied Lily. So Lily also is now the poor settler. So now she's down two victory points as well. You're welcome. Joining the peasants. Okay, so Lily just built a road on the river, so she got a coin. She is now tied for first place with Dad, so he loses his wealthiest and she loses her poor. I'll take, my I'll take your wealthiest. I know, you don't want to give it up. I uh, totally didn't notice. The bridges do count towards the longest road. So blue definitely just won the longest road there. Thank you very much. And that's the game.
So 10 points because it is just with the settlers of Catan, so it's just the basic 10 points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Blue wins. Keep playing. Uh, keep playing games and have fun.